What's going on you guys, Mally Hack on tutorial on how to display your Android screen onto your computer screen. You might have seen on other tutorials that they have their Android screen or their phone or whatever just uh, on their computer screen they're showing you, you know, step by step on something or you know showing you around their phone or something. So, And uh, this is a quick tutorial on how to do it. It's not that hard. It's pretty easy. Uh, so let's get started by go ahead and click on that link on the description. I should give you this. Uh, WinRAR file right here. Go ahead and extract that to your desktop and you should get something like this. You can open that up and then we already have ADB if you follow my first tutorial on, on the, how to root the model of Zoom. I'll show you how to get ADB here but um, the real way here is, is through uh, SDK. Okay, this And then the readme files, you know, the, the text is going to be um, the, the, the links to where I found the, the files at. Okay, so just go ahead and get those, but I already got them for you here, and um, make it easy for you guys. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and install um, SDK. Okay, so you know, click on that. I already installed it, so I already have it on here. But I'll just do it again. And just do this regular install. You know, just follow the directions on it. And um, read this. Make sure you have this Java SE. Okay, so if you don't have it, I'm I'm quite sure. Um, as the, the installation will install it for you or find or download, but you know, I'll need permission from you first. But if it and if it asks for you, go ahead and give it permission because you need the Java SE for what we're gonna do. Okay, so you can click next. Make sure you know where it's installing at. Okay, mainly it's gonna be in under your your, your C drive, program files, and it's gonna be Android and it'll be Android SDK. So go ahead and click next on that. Okay, install. And then once it's completed, you hit next, and then do not uh, let it uh, start up like that. Okay, I'll tell you why in a minute. You hit finish, and um, these two are the same thing. Just one's and this is a newer version. This is an older version. Um, I just give them both because I don't know. Maybe you have preference on one, but uh, it really doesn't really matter. They both work the same way. Okay, so you can go ahead and just drag it to your desktop. You can close that up now. You're pretty much done. Go into your C drive. Okay, remember Pro and Files, and then uh, Android, SDK, and now we get SDK here, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, run as administrator. The reason why is because you need to download the platform tools, which are not provided in, in this SDK version. Normally they'll be under Tools, and then you'll be here, it'll be ADB here. You need ADB in order to get the, the screen onto your the screen on your phone to the computer. But since it's not here anymore, it says here ADB has moved, and this gives you directions how to do it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just get on SDK Manager. See, I, I already have it. This is what you need. Normally, you will not find this on your uh, on the on the download. So, um, go ahead and run run SDK Manager as administrator. Hit yes. Okay. Now let this load up here. Mine's gonna say it's already installed, but um. This is the same way. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and deselect all. Click on that only right there. Okay, hold on, let me uh, delete this very right quick. So yes, there you go. So you something like this, okay? It'll be not installed. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit on that, install one package, instead of set, hit yes, and let it download. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set a create path on the um, on the droid ad screen to the ADB. Now you're probably asking me, well, why don't you just do it onto this one right here, the one we already have? Well, the problem with that is that for some reason it does not read the path for the, for the ADB I provided at your first. That's why I had to get the SDK and all that other stuff and download that, which pretty much the same thing. So it's not pretty, you know. It's, it's, it's um, if you rem if you already have the gist of like you know how to find the directories on the on the command prompt, it's gonna be the same exact thing. I mean, we're not gonna use a command prompt here, but you know. I'm just saying it's it's uh it's pretty not that hard. Just go through the you know just command to each file and to find ADB. But uh, um okay, well this is done now. Don't worry about this. This always so I've, I've installed this in like twice, three times already, and this always comes up. But and it's, it works just fine with it there anyway. So you had to close that up, and once it's installed, go ahead and close that up too. And you're pretty much done with that. All you gotta do now. This is the older version. This is the newer version. So go ahead and just double click that. Okay, close that. Up. That that's not gonna pop up. Okay, you can see here that my Zoom is connected right now, but 
on, when you pop yours up, it's going to be nothing here. So you're going to do is going to go to ADB, and then ADB is executable path. And what you're going to do basically is just find the ADB uh, EXE, this one right here, or this one right here. But to do that, you're going to go ahead and just go into where it wants to install, which is your C drive. Okay? And it was installed under program files, Android, Android SDK, under platform tools. That's where ADB is at. Open that up. And then click on ADB EXE. Hit open. Hit OK. And then let it do its thing. And then you should see your your device. This is my Zoom. But you should see your uh, whatever you have plugged in. It works on the Galaxy S2 also. So that's your, you know, that's pretty much it. And you control it on your device. So if you, you know, go onto your device, do your unlock thing, and then, you know, swipe through the menus. And it's pretty laggy, but, you know, gets the job done. Okay. And as you're in the side corner right here, this will, um, I believe this is the. Flips your thing upside down, or I mean, flips it on the panel, or I mean, the long view. This flips it the upside down, and then I think there's the zoom. Yeah, see what what scale do you want it in when you want it big or small. Say you want 50%, and I'll you know put it back down to 50. Um, this is screen capture, and then this is gonna save to your desktop under this name. So you hit save. Oh, I already have one in here, so yeah, I mean. So overwrite that, and then just give you an exact picture of what you have. Okay, and then uh, what's this one here? This just shows your properties on the device, and this, this one will be the record button for the. You won't do any recording here. Okay, but you won't do that, or I mean, you can also just uh, get Camp Studios, what I use to do the whole uh, on-screen filming or recording. You can probably just go Google or. Uh, you know, you can probably get a free, I think it was free, I can't remember. But the Cam Studio is pretty easy. If I can open it. Oh. Okay. I think I just froze up my thing. Once you pop it like this, and then uh, you just hit record, and it'll record what you do. Okay. So uh, that's pretty much it. So I um, hope this helps somebody. Maybe um, you want to do your own tutorials or you just want to know how to do it mess around whatever you know just just the fact that you know how to do it I mean that's what you gotta do right so and you can pull you, you can plug in multiple items in there I plugged in my zoom and my Galaxy S2 at the same time and both screen pop up just fine well, anyway so um this is a Manhattan tutorial please comment like subscribe and uh, share this video with anyone else and in any comments please post them down below and um, take it easy guys